Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a daily vibe for Around the New Moon. Okay, this is for Around the New Moon. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have? What do we have for a new moon? For the new moon, I think it's in Gemini, I believe. Could be wrong. Well, it is in Gemini because it's Gemini season on the 22nd. Looks like it's still Taurus, though. Anyhow, what do we have for the new moon on the 22nd? I'm no astrologer. Ace of Swords. Something being revealed. The truth coming out. Um, an awakening of some sort with the Ace of Swords. It's the raw truth. The whole truth. The truth is coming out. Um, some sort of facts, okay? This is also a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call. Some sort of communication. <clears throat> Nine of Cups reversed. And the Seven of Cups. So there's a lot of, there's many options. There's many choices. There's consequences. You need to be careful because there's consequences for your choice. So somebody is going to have an opportunity to make a choice, but um, with the Nine of Cups, there's a level of dissatisfaction, not happy, not happy with the truth. There's many options. Somebody made it, might have made a poor choice. They made a, might have made a poor choice. This is accepting the truth, clarity. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is about taking ownership, taking soul ownership. Expecting trouble, expecting trouble, yeah. They're needing to defend themselves. Somebody's needing to de defend, defend themselves. This is defensive. We have somebody here that has been through some sort of battle. They Maybe they're feeling like they need to defend themselves. Looking at the truth, looking, looking, somebody is looking at the truth, they know the truth. There's been a level of illusion, though. This person's not happy. They overdid it. Somebody went overboard. Somebody went overboard. <laughs> they may have done something. Now they have to own up to it. They have to defend themselves. Something, some information has come out. Interesting. Or it's coming out. Ten of Cups. Could have something reversed. Could, could be some family situation with a ten of cups or a relationship this is a dying dream or something that has to do with relationship problems now we have relationships with many different people but the ten of cups reversed is relationship problems it's not very peaceful there's a lack of 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 happiness here right with the nine of cups reversed and the ten of cups reversed uh, yeah there is there's a lack of happiness there's there's uh unhappiness put it that way Somebody uh, made a wrong choice by the looks of things, and now they have to defend themselves, or they're feeling that they need to defend themselves. Okay. Um, Four of Cups reversed. Now, this is uh, seizing a new opportunity. It's time to look forward. Expect somebody that has been wounded because this person is wounded. This person has been wounded. They have been through a lot of battles in their life. They've, they've really been through some struggles, but they are determined to succeed. So we have this person that is very determined. They're not happy. They, maybe they've been in a relationship that ended, you know, <laughs> not so well. Okay, but they're looking at something truthful they're looking at because this is very truthful this is a new beginning this is a new idea this is a new approach so we have somebody that is about to take a new approach they got this new idea and they're ready to look forward now um, they have an option and they're going to make a better choice this time so we so we do have a another choice that is being made this person has learned something from their past experiences they're very guarded but they're looking at so, uh, something um, that they have learned, they've learned something from their past relationships. They went overboard, you know, they, 
They did. They went overboard last time. But and I think that they they are ready for something new because this is the Four of Cups reversed. They're making a choice. They're making a choice on something new. Definitely making a choice with the Two of Pentacles. They've been going back and forth. They've been missing an opportunity going back and forth, maybe on some sort of roller coaster ride. But they've been, I think they've been struggling trying to adapt to some sort of change. Um, and I think they're learning to adapt to whatever this change is within the, within the relationship. They were in, somebody has been in a relationship that has ended. And I think that, you know, now, and I think they may have been discontent and sad and dissatisfied for quite some time, but now they're ready to get back in the game. It's like, yeah, they're ready to get back in the game. They're ready to open up. Okay. They're, they are, they're ready to communicate. They are going to be communicating. No, Knight of Cups. So yeah, this is this is somebody that is looking for a relationship, looking for romance, looking for love, interested, definitely interested, ready, definitely ready for change. They've been juggling, been trying to uh, probably make the right choice, and they probably had a few options, so they may have been thinking about it. Judgment, yes, making a judgment call, telling the truth, speaking up. Um, this is definitely a wake-up call. We have wake-up call here and wake-up call here. Somebody is going to receive a wake-up call or a phone call from an individual or something. Now, this is a resolution. Uh, it's a new life. Okay. It's a chance to live again. It really is. And this could, there could even be a past life connection here when you get the judgment card. Okay, this could be a past life situation where you, this is somebody that is, uh, you were with in a past life. There could be a reconciliation with somebody that you were with in a past life. That's what I'm trying to say. But this is wondering if you will be accepted. If you'll be accepted, forgiven, let in. So this is a life-changing decision. So I feel like we have an individual that is making a life-changing decision to move forward into something new. I think there's something new here. And I know I said reconciliation, but I feel like it's new. I think it's somebody that you have known before. This is an op this person is is offering love. They're ready for a relationship. They're ready for romance. This is a lover. This is somebody who um has been it's really been thinking about it too. They about to take an approach and they're gonna communicate that they're ready or so they want a relationship or something like that. I think that they're deepening a bond and they've been wanting to deepen a bond. They've been wanting to have it all. They've been wanting the forever and they had, with their last one they didn't found it so they've been they didn't find it so they were discontent and sad and grieving and whatever. But now they're ready. They're ready to. They're determined. They are determined to make a better choice this this time. And this, I feel like this this is this is uh, you know, judgment is a card of karma, okay, and it's a card of renewal and awakening. So we have a life changing situation that is. giving somebody the opportunity for a new life. This is like resurrection, right? The chance to live again. Interesting. Page of Cups reversed. Now the Page of Cups reversed is Shattered Dreams. Uh, rejection. And this is Will You Be Accepted? And this is Fearful of Rejection. We have somebody here that is fearful of rejection. They're fearful that they won't they won't be accepted. But they're very interested. The four of cups reversed, very interested. Whereas before, you know, maybe they were in a commitment or they were in a relationship or something like that, but now it's over. The relationship that they were in is over and they're ready for change. So there's something going on here where there's definitely a change, okay? Somebody is going to be communicating that they do want to, they're going to be expressing their feelings, put it that way.
Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. It's meant to be. I really feel like this is a fated union. It's fate. It's, you know, and I don't say that very often. It's a past life connection. I don't know why I feel so strongly about that, but I do. This is destiny. It's meant to be. And see, the wheel is spinning. It's spinning. It's spinning. And it's spinning, spinning in the right direction. See, this one's falling. Okay, it's falling, and, and we have a man and a woman, but somebody's leaving. So we have two people that are, are coming together, but this person had to get off. Okay, this, this, this one's leaving, okay, so that these two people could come together. See, that one's leaving. So I think that, you know, one man's loss is another man's treasure, that kind of thing. So I think this is the wheel of change. Okay, so yes, the wheel is spinning and they're bringing together. I think that we have a very positive uh, turn of events here where, you know, one person's trash is another man's treasure. And I think I just said that. I think we have a, um, this is, two are partnerships. We have two people that are coming together in perfect union. It really is. I don't need the two of cups. It's, it's like, now this is, if you think about the infinity sign, the infinity, infinity sign is everlasting love. Okay, and you would have everlasting love with somebody from past life anyway. And I don't say past life connection very often, but I feel like we have a past life connection here. And I think it's going to be a very emotional time because the feelings are going to be very raw and they're going to be very um, intense. I think it's going to be very um, um, feeling. It's going to be a very feeling energy where you know, it, it's like, this is really meant to be. It's felt that it's meant to be. It really is with the ju with judgment and, and Wheel of Fortune. These are both, it's karma and destiny, okay? This is meant to be. It's meant to be. So I think we have a very positive change, a positive, um, one cycle has ended, a new cycle is beginning just like that. This cycle is in, is bringing in love. It's bringing in a new relationship. Or a reconciliation with somebody that you have known, I believe, in a past life. I think that things are going to progress pretty fast with the Knight of Rods. That things are going to happen fast. There's a strong desire and a strong attraction to this person. There's, it feels like there's a magnetic attraction. Now, this could also be like a great awakening because this is an awakening and this is an awakening. So we do have somebody here that is, is like waking up seriously from their slumber. They are. They're waking up from their sadness. They're waking up from their unhappiness and they're moving into a, a new place. So we have a positive change of events. There's no doubt about it. You know, I don't, I feel like this is like a yin and yang kind of thing. So I think around the 21st that we have an individual that has been through some serious struggles in their life. They have been wounded. They have been wounded by their, their poor choices in the past. This is wounded, poor choices, seven of cups. And now they are determined to make a better, better choice and have an everlasting or a lasting relationship. Their previous wounds have woken them up. They have enlightened them. We have a new beginning here and know that we do. There is something that is about to be revealed. Um, life is about to change, put it that way. It really is. This is life changing. Life, it is. It's life changing. It's the end of sadness because judgment is an ending. Okay. It is. It's the end of sadness. It is. With the four of cups next to it and reversed. It's interested in a new love, interested in love, interested in a relationship, interested in, in starting a new life, starting a new chapter, letting the old one go. This wheel is spinning in the right direction, put it that way. Let's get one of these.
flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. So it starts with flirting. And I think this flirting leads to something very meant to be destiny. A relationship. It'll probably be, it will definitely be a flirtatious time. There's going to be some flirting going on. Let's get one more. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So it has something to do with children. There could be some families that are mixing. You know, what do you call that? I don't know what you call that when families mix. I'm sure somebody will point that out. But it feels like there's two families coming together. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I believe it is. I feel it very strongly. So anyhow, I feel like we have a new beginning here with somebody that you have known before in a past life. And I don't say that hardly ever. Good luck. Be prepared to receive a message or messages from this person that is very interested because this Four of Cups reverse is very interested with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords. There's going to be message. There's going to be messages going back and forth and interest is going to grow. Okay, the, it is. There's going to there it is. And there could be and there could be some tears. It could be very intense. It could be very intense, it, you know, because all the emotions come up the, of the previous wounds. So the previous wounds come up as you reunite with this person. So it could be very intense as feelings come up. Good luck. <laughs>